Alright, I'm getting a little bit annoyed. Four hundred dollars, that's not too bad. Like, no one ever texted me, ever. But now, the one time I record, and this has been a while since I've recorded, you know. Again, people don't text me often. But, like, the first time I record, I want to say maybe a week or something. And all of a sudden, I bet you five dollars I will go over to my phone and see at least ten text messages. It won't shut up, and it's pissing me off. Okay. Just keep climbing up. Ow! Oh no! Oh, okay, we're good. I was hoping I'd be, because usually when he hits me, I'm able to land right back on it. So it's not too bad in the end. But, uh, this part you gotta be really, really careful on. Because you gotta get, like, right on the edge. In other words, you can't possibly get it. So up a little bit, and go. You can see, even then, he can still hit you, so you really gotta be, like... Yeah, let's see, no. Come on, Conquer, we can do this. Unless he flies up. It does, it looks like he flies up. Yeah, okay, so he goes down... Or he goes, he hangs low twice and then goes up. Well, I learn something new every day. But see, it's, that's just it. Like, this game isn't hard to figure out at all. Ow! Damn it. Of course, it's not a walk in the park and a breeze, but. I like it. It's good difficulty. Not cheap, and you're able to figure it all out. And then, okay, and then he goes up. So go, and then he'll go down and dodge you. There you go, see? He goes low and then high. Alright, alright, we're good, we're good. Is there anything off to the side here? No, just keep going up. Oh yeah, this guy goes all around. Whew. Yeah, I had that one coming, it's alright. I think I can make it. Yeah, see, that's what I did last time, was I just chanced it and it worked, so... Okay, don't fly up higher, please. You're actually making me quite tense. B. And if you notice, the water's gone. I don't... Oh. Oh, maybe that's where it went. Okay. That's clever. Because I always wondered, I'm like, why don't you see any water? It probably went because of the whole flood. Uh, I'm learning things today. Alright, now where is it in proximity to the other ladder? I think it's over this way. It's over there, isn't it? No, it's right here in front of me. Stupid. Also, the gameplay controls are really, really tight, so, I mean, you don't mess up too often. I'm just kissing this game's ass, aren't I? I don't know, I guess I'm not really... That's what I was worried about, was commentary. I don't know, I'd say it's bearable. If not, I can always re-record shit. It's not like I can. I'm just gonna see how much progress. I mean, the gameplay, me, I feel like that's what's really doing it right now, is the fact that I'm doing about it. Do you have pupils? You do, okay. Or, I mean, iris, whatever. It looked like it was gone completely. And then this way. That's where the money was. Oh, you would be way back there, then. Oh, another wise guy! Come on, then! Go card before you know it. I think that's it, actually. I don't think there's anything more down here you can do. So I think we got the barn chapter completed already, and it's only been like an hour. Technically, it's probably been a little bit more, but you know what I mean. It was at least 58 minutes, I think, during that whole boss fight cutscene, so... Yeah. Well, shit. There we go. Progress is booming. I love it. Let's go this way, Conker. Oh, it's really hot. Oh, I turned my fan off. I thought I turned it on low. I couldn't really tell. That's one thing I don't like is when a fan's spinning slow. 
Hold on. There we go. This is when it's spinning slowly. Sometimes I can't tell if it's like, um... What's it? You know. Almost. Or if it's on the low setting, or if it's just turning off. as I have done, most particularly, you will see that there is a gap. And we are not talking any old gap here, my lord. It is a sizable one. Now, milk goes here. What happens? We have the fulcrum here, the milk here. The weight problem, not good. Milk falls off because of a gap. Yeah, that is what is the problem, the gap. I think I see. And the solution? Ah, now this is where it gets complicated. I was mulling over what would fit in the gap. I tried many things. I tried elephants, pot plants, uh, many things. But the one thing, and I was sure of it at the time, I was sure it was a rodent. Sure enough, it was. This one. Various? Which tell us to use the proper vernacular. To the layman, the red squirrel. This red squirrel. Hmm. Yes. Squirrel. I've heard of them. Yes. So? So it's a simple, Malish. We need a squirrel. And we put him here. You know spill your milk? We don't get duct tape. Hmm. Gentlemen. Yes, my liege. Get me one of these red squirrels. Yes. How are you doing? Hi, hi, how you doing? Come in, come in now. Yeah, sit down, what do you want? Oh, this, this place really smells. Ah, uh, well, if she were like f***ing dung beetles and you rolled a poo around, f*** knows what's for. Oh, really? If you want some, you want some poo? Um, uh, uh, Alright, get your f***ing ass in there. There's these f***ing cows. Get them in there, get them to crap, and I'll make you a ball of poo. And you can do what the hell you like with it. Go on, on your break. You still here? F*** that. Oh, charming. <laughs> oh, conquer. B. I thought it was a... Oh. I thought it opened a different way. Alright, so this is where the game gets a bit more disgusting. So, if you're going to be bothered by that, now's the time to be bothered. But, of course, it's it's still interesting nonetheless. So, chapter... Actually, to be fair, it's chapter 3, Pooh Land. Because there's still some... I don't know. Do I really jump all the way over there? Oh, I guess chapter two. Whatever. The point is poo land. Yikes. Um. Oh, oh, right. Go up here. Jesus. <laughs> I wonder what it would have must have been like to orchestrate this. <laughs> Like, I really can't help but wonder. It must have been an interesting uh, idea. Ah, right, don't see any poo here. Oh, hey, uh, excuse me, hello. Yeah, you. Uh, <coughs> whoa, <laughs> friendly type. 
I'm looking for some poo. I know it sounds pretty strange, but... <coughs> oh. <coughs> red. Red. I don't like red. <coughs> I hate red. Go away. Whoa. Take it, he doesn't like red. What? I don't see anything red around. Oh. Here we go again. That's one thing, is like, I'm, I'm very bad with the colors when it comes to red and orange. But I always thought Conqueror was orange. I didn't know he was red. Like, it always threw me off when people, or, you know, the dialogue, ooh, thank you, said he was red. And that's another thing that I find funny, is like, because now you've got the whole idea of the plot. Something about it, when you, like, look at it in perspective, it's really funny. It's like, what's the point of the game? Well, you need to, you know, the bad guy's after you so he doesn't spill his milk. And when I hear that, I think of a fairly odd parents. No, I don't think you can get Yeah, it's auto-slip. You know, why does it go at two miles an hour? Oh, way to fall down. So you don't spill your milk. You know, that's what makes me think of it. It's just funny when you think about it in that perspective. Because I had to tell my brother about it. And he's like, what's with the, the bad guy? And he's like, well, he doesn't want to spill his milk anymore. And I couldn't help but laugh saying it. Of course, Conker's still gonna go around minding his own business for a little bit. <laughs> okay, can we please stop doing that? Okay, go, don't. Ugh. I get it, poo noises. Get up here. Oh, good, chocolate. And then run this way, I think? Yeah, there you go. Now, logic would denote that something that drinks that is going to get the screaming squit. Hmm. Ah, that looks distinctly like a target. And there we have a bowl. Yes. I think I get it. Me too, Conker. Me too.